Being a leader comes not only with power and opportunities, but also with a full package of challenges. Our subordinates are people who we are responsible for as leaders, so if any problem happens, it is our obligation to find a solution. Imagine the situation. You're a leader in a company X where men are around 90% of workers. One day there is a woman coming into your office and she tells you that one of her male co-workers is constantly harassing her. He tells her that she's not as smart as others because she's a woman. Um, he makes jokes about her being weaker and criticizes her work all the time. Uh, she tells you that she feels stressed every day and doesn't want to go to work anymore and she thinks about changing job. What would you do in that situation? Imagine yourself in two roles, bad leader and good leader. As a good leader, you have a lot of uh, empathy and always care about others' feelings. You feel bad hearing that there is any problem in your workspace and you don't want anyone to feel discriminated, though sometimes you might be too soft. As a bad leader, you are very distanced. You uh, don't care about uh, people's feelings, you get mad if any problems happen because it has bad impact on company's performance and you're hot-headed and get mad very easily. Let's see what are these two leaders' uh, solutions to this problem. I decided this should not be happened between my employees. So I called two of them in my office. We sat together and discussed about the problem. I asked that lady that please explain how she felt when he embraced her. That man was smiling and said, these are just innocent jokes. I was polite and very firm. This is unacceptable. You are creating a bad atmosphere in my company and you will not stop it. Then you will face some consequences. Now, that man stopped smile, smiling and also apologized but that lady. He felt sorry for this. After a few days, that lady came to me and thanked me because bullying is stopped now. I was really concerned about this situation and I decided to confront this employee alone. Maybe if I talk nicely to him, he will understand. I explained this situation to him but I didn't want to be offensive. So I did it very delicately maybe too much he just smiled and told me that he is just joking around that's not that serious he's like that with everyone and this lady can't handle any jokes i thought that maybe she was overreacting a little bit but i asked him anyway he will be mature and understand on his own that he can't act like that few weeks after i have found out that this woman took very long sick due to her bad mental health condition i decided to confront this male employees who interrupting everyone's work i got furious i don't like when people make unnecessary problems i hate dealing with them i should add him in the front of few other people i am very distant and tell them that if this harassment happens again, I will fire him. He got very secured, but it worked. The woman that came to me told literally that this co-work does not even look at her anymore. And she's not harassed anymore. I decided to confront this employee. I asked them to come to my office. I didn't want to make, to make a scene. I told him that I don't care what is happening between them because private matters are not my business but it must stop no matter how he will handle it the employee told me that he will handle it few weeks after I informed that this woman quit her job apparently the male co-worker that was harassing her told her that if she tells anyone about the relation again he will make her life hell and continued his bad behavior well he didn't handle it uh, in this own way i didn't care how
all these scenarios show that sometimes even bad pictures can bring us good solutions and good behavior sometimes might be not enough to find a solution to problem. A good leader should be full of empathy and care about their employees' problems, but also adequately strict and distanced. In a second scenario, the leader was too polite and too afraid to offend anyone. So the bad behaving employee didn't care about uh, the leader's words and his behavior continued anyways. Um, being too nice might result in our subordinates having no respect to us. A good leader should uh, not be hot-headed and mad if any problems occur, but uh, helping your co-workers is a part of your job as a leader, so you have no right to be mad when something happens. Of course, firmness and assertiveness, uh, like it was showed uh, in the example of bad leader, are partially good features, but they should also be well balanced um, with providing psychological safety, because we cannot lead through fear.